Oh, it's already started. Uh, yeah, welcome. Another edition of the Daily Harmon. Here we are again. Um, anyway, so we have on the screen here a document I shall link to. So I filed this document, uh, I don't know, whatever, a month ago. Um, I don't know, the date's on the bottom. Um, and it basically spells out what the procedure was going to be. And this is what you have the conference for, is to discuss these issues. So basically what you do is you lay out your plan for the case, and you have what is a conference with the judge, and basically what's going to take place is where they're going to, you're going to resolve the issues that need to be resolved before you can go to trial. Issues over discovery and, and what evidence is going to be pursued and what motions are going to be filed and this kind of procedure. It's just, you know, this is the way rational procedure takes place in court. And um, through the process, obviously, we haven't been allowed to have the conference with the judge, okay? I mean, Hitner initiated one. He got three minutes into it, realized he wasn't going to be able to play his bullshit games, and he bailed out after three minutes. Um, yeah, they're not going to let me have a chance to argue the issues of the case. Um, but clearly, I gave this judge a clean layout of the case and what was going on. There's no, there's absolutely no confusion. So even this one paragraph alone would probably be su sufficient for a complaint. And so I wrote, um, the purpose of the litigation was to protect copyrighted material from abusive use falling outside the protections defined as fair use, and to also litigate claims of libel and slander in violation of applicable state law. Now, I bet you can't find a lawyer who's willing to publicly say that paragraph by itself is probably sufficient 99.99% of the time as a complaint to initiate a lawsuit, that that would be a sufficiently definitive and descriptive statement um, uh, certainly plain statement defining what the issues to be resolved by the court are. It's spelled out, it's made clear, this is what we disagree about, is the definition of fair use, and we also are going to disagree about the word libel and slander and whether you're allowed to call me a liar or not, or whether you're allowed to call me uh, a filer of frivolous lawsuits, or whether you're allowed to call me a holocaust denier, or whether you're allowed to call me an anti-Semite in public. Um, and yeah, those are legitimate arguments, and the argument is clearly stated. There's no doubt about it. There's just, like I said, go find. You won't find a single legal professional, in my opinion. Go ahead and try. I dare you. I defy any of you assholes to go find a lawyer willing to publicly state that does not define a complaint. All right, anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I said further, this is a description of the case history. Uh, the plaintiff has an intense, intense interest in satisfying the demands of just judicial process to achieve a judicial decision on the relevant and substantially important legal issues in contention. So I'm basically saying to the court exactly the opposite of what she says, that I'm somehow not willing to provide the court with what they want. I would advise the court that many thousands, even perhaps hundreds, so this is further description, obviously, of my complaint. And the court has read this, so it has no excuse in, in not it, it fairly... Um, um, conceding this willingness to provide more information if the court wants it. I can retype this and add this to the complaint quite simply. I just say, okay, judge, add that to my complaint if you want more information. Anyway, uh, many thousands of people um, producing and consuming video content on the internet desperately desire legal clarity regarding what conduct is or is not within the boundaries of legality and what constitutes a reasonable expectation of controllable ownership. Illustrated in the substance of this case is a is a currently unresolved conflict between the rights of those willing to expose and make available for public viewing expressions of themselves and the rights of those who claim a free speech liberty to maliciously manipulate and desecrate those expressions. I think that's a brilliant piece of verbiage. I mean, that's just fucking goddamn brilliant. And it just spells out what the issues involved are. There's just no doubt about what this lit lit litigation's about. Like I said, the judge is just playing a goddamn game. It's just really, it's just the naysaying thing. It's, it's, it's like going up to us and saying, prove there's no God. That's all the judge is doing here. She's saying, prove your complaint sufficient. How the fuck do I prove a complaint sufficient? I've told you what the case is. You have to prove the deficiency. She hasn't done that. She hasn't explained what's missing from my fucking complaint. Anyway, I mean, what doesn't she understand? Like I said, does she understand the word copyright? Does she understand there's a law against violating copyright? What doesn't she understand? Does she understand what a video is? That it's my content? That I've copyrighted it? That the other guy took it? What does she need to understand here? Obviously, she doesn't need to understand anything. She's deliberately and willfully um, abolishing my constitutional rights. That makes her a fucking criminal, in my opinion. A grotesque, the worst kind of criminal. An a violator of constitutional rights. You don't get any worse than that. Uh, she's a Benedict Arnold to the American Constitution. But anyway, uh, so another relevant statement is here. R. Jones said, uh, uh, no, I said about him. Um, uh, Jones R., I mean. 
uh, yeah, remains the only defendant to be a formal respondent to this litigation. He has filed some papers in this case previously that the plaintiff does claim are insufficient to the necessary legal recognition and qualification, and therefore not adequate on their face to be sensibly considered as satisfactory motion for either summary judgment or dismissal. I mean, when I publish his documents, you'll see there's just, it's, it's rambly nonsense. It has nothing to do with what he has to do under Rule 12. He can't file seven summary judgment mo motions. These are motions you can only, you only get one shot at these apples. You can only bite them once. All right, he's, and he's taken 17 bites out of the apple. It's just complete bullshit. This is not, they're not legal documents in a court case. You can't do what he did. It's a violation of the fucking rules. You get your one shot, and if you don't win it, then you're done. That was your shot, and then you have to go to trial. All right, well, anyway. Plaintiff claims that the defendant Jones are, has received through the complaint sufficient information regarding the claims against him, which were a consequence of his conduct on video sharing site YouTube, uh, to freely construct a relevant defense. I mean, I, the point is simple here. What's at issue? The evidence in the case is going to be the videos and the comments Jones are produced. So he has the knowledge of what he produced. All he has to say to the judge is, I claim I never said anything disparaging about Mr. Mosier. I never used his fucking content. And if he says that, then, I, then the burden of proof is on me to indicate there's some reason to believe that he did do some of that. But it doesn't matter when, anyway. We know that he did that. He knows that he did that. So there's no absolutely no argument that he doesn't know what the claim is against him. He damn well knows the claim against him. So this is just complete bullshit. Uh, I'm sorry. This is so, I mean, you know, th this, is, this is what's wrong with the law. I mean, they, they, you know, lawyers talk about, judges talk about this shit because this is a real problem. Because, you know, th there are clauses in the law that will be abused. You know, there's, there's little catches, and they'll take one of these catch-22s that still exist in the law now and then, and judges will resort to them. And it really does fuck the system up, because it, it just it, it allows things to get completely broken because people won't play by the rules. You know, and they'll play this, this catch-22 game. Because I mean, there's no way for me to, how do I play the catch-22 game? I've explained this all, as clearly as I can possibly explain what the crime is. And short of providing evidence, there's nothing else I can do. So yes, Judge, I will give you whatever... Oh, well, we'll get to that part. All right. Um, so here it is. Um, regarding the Rule 16 litigant communication. Uh, in the papers filed in this case by Defendant Jones, our statements have been made by him that I believe constitute further violation of law against the malicious libel and slander. Obviously, you know, Jones has made statements in his papers that, in my opinion, are just more slander. He said more things about frivolous lawsuits since I filed 70 or 80 of them or some other dumb number in New Jersey. never happened. So it's just more reckless disregard for the truth. And he sent me mail with that, that can't be, it's nothing short of harassment. Anyway, I would also give the court notice that Defendant Jones R. has sent mail to my home that I believe can be argued to be malicious harassment. You know, and I gave her an exhibit. Uh, I have no confidence that Defendant Jones R. has any interest in sincere negotiation, and I contend no interest of justice can be served by obligating me to endure any more of his abuse in any unmoderated environment. So I've just made it clear that if you want me to do something that Mr. Jones is requesting, you're going to have to tell me to do it, because I'm not obeying Mr. Jones R.'s fucking orders. Um, period. Uh, so, you know, uh, anyway, that's an obligation the judge do it anyway. So, discovery, here we go. The plaintiff does not, does have, and see, this is just clear, all right? I mean, so there's this contention somehow that I'm not willing to give the court evidence, or I'm not willing to give the court whatever it wants, and that's just bullshit. And here it's plainly stated in this document. Uh, the plaintiff does have in his possession some electronic copies of a small fraction of the videos and comments posted by Jones R. on the video sharing site YouTube. While this incomplete record may be, perhaps be sufficient to prove the claims against Defendant Jones are, it is plaintiff's contention that justice would be best served based on a complete evidentiary record that creates a complete context. Based on the judgment of the court. So right there, I'm asking the judge to make a fucking decision and say, yes, give me more information. If you want more information, I will send you more information. But you have to fucking ask for it. Well, anyway. Plaintiff is willing to provide copies of what evidentiary material he possesses, but would suggest it would be more efficient process to allow the claims to be prosecuted based on an original, complete evidentiary record that plaintiff suggests be secured from Google Inc. All right, so in conclusion, it's a nice conclusion I wrote. I restate for the court's edification that it is the primary intent of this litigation to create meaningful case law that will prevent any further violation of relevant laws caused by the now abundant, erroneous, and divergent public opinion regarding what the law allows. Copyright and harassment in the digital age is in desperate need of clear and explicit legal definition. I respectfully request the court provide that necessary clarification through this cause of action. 
So anyway, now there's no fucktards in there, Remy. No fucking insults. No, you're a skanky fucking ignorant bitch. There's just good, sound, legal argument that she fucking ignored, okay, and, and to, to contrive her bullshit, nonsensical, irrelevant, mushy shit, useless fucking excuse to deny me my constitutional rights. So anyway. So we'll move on to the next document, the next document, the next document, the next document. And we will discuss, and we will scratch and poke at. Because everything she's done is just such bullshit. I mean, there's so much wrong with her fucking order. Ugh. But anyway, i got to get to writing it now. Can't be talking the argument. i got to go write the argument. So, until next time.